Hey everybody, it's Diabetes coming to you while PAX Prime is happening. Yes, that's right, PAX Prime video games are happening right now. Very far across the country in a place I am not anywhere near. But that's okay, because we've got a podcast. We've got Retsu Talk. So who needs video games, right? So, quick intro before we get underway. This podcast actually was not going to see the light of day because Davo accidentally recorded this in two segments. He deleted his first segment. He was kind of, you know, <laughs> token. And I didn't think this would be salvageable. We had no sync points, so I had to kind of manipulate all the audio files until some semblance of a conversation started happening. And so what we wound up having left was the second half of what we had originally recorded. So the first half, unfortunately, is lost forever. In the second half, uh, we were just looking through uh, Twitter. I sent out a tweet asking if anyone wanted us to talk about anything. And so what you're about to listen to is us going over some tweets that people sent us, some things they wanted to hear about, or just things that they uh, were interested in hearing some Retsu chat about. So that's what this is all about. So hope you enjoy that. Hope you enjoy are enjoying PAX, for those of you who are West Coast bound right now. I uh, hear it's, uh, it's a good time. I hear they have video games there. So without any further ado, let's get into Retsu Talk episode 7, I think. Retsu Talk. Welcome back, everyone. We're taking questions from the Twitter, Twitter. So let's get back to it. We're social media relevant. Mm-hmm. I think is what's we're joining the conversation. I want to. I want to field this one by Nerdbot MK2. Um, what's an old game you guys have never played that you want to? Half Life. I never played that either. I played the shit out of Half Life. It's awesome. I, I got it as a Steam gift. Some time back, I don't remember why. So it's half, or Half Life Two, rather. It's sitting in my Steam list, but I just haven't started it. Please. I have, I have Half Life Two for my Xbox 360, and I, I just couldn't get into it because I felt like the first two hours of the game are like you're escaping from the Citadel or whatever the bad guy, the Combine, and and then like you just meet some guy who's like, Gordon Freeman, you're the best guy I've ever met. Anyway, go down here. Yeah. And that like repeated for well, like that's two hours. In the first one. Gordon Freeman becomes like a cult-like figure. Well, how? Why is he a celebrity? You should play the first one. Okay, I guess so. Also, did you say you're playing it on Xbox 360? Yes. (laughs) Whatever. Get off the podcast. Yeah. (laughs) Can't do it. Um, Would Half-Life 2, is it antiquated at all? Like, Or would it seem just really... Blah, just compared to all the newer shooters that have come out. It's, like it's definitely pretty slow paced. Yeah. Um, but I mean that's not necessarily a bad thing, but it's definitely slow paced. Mm. It is kinda cool. It's just that like I feel like there's like hour long sections where you're just like traveling. Yeah, there are. There's definitely like the, there's legitimately hour long sections where you're like cruising along the landscape in a boat. But at the time that was like in one Half-Life? of the first games with uh I'm sorry, Half Life Two. Yeah. In Half Life One, it's actually honestly pretty action packed the whole time. But like you're just some scientist, and you're just in a lab, and aliens come, right? That's like the whole deal. Yeah, but you save the day. Like crabs and shit. It's totally worth playing, bro. Yeah. Was, that, was that diabetes? That was Half-Life? that was mine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Half Life Two. What about you, Beefarino? Um, I actually really want to play Deus Ex. Um, ah, I've, nice. I've really heard how good that game is, and, um... You should play that in front of a camera. Oh, I should. I should totally, like... 
I should totally do a blind let's play of that because I hear that's the, what the kids are doing. That's what the kids are doing these days, yeah. Mm-hmm. Basically. Just remember to sandcastle that shit. Oh, yeah. Well, of course. I'm sitting here Duh. trying to decide. Like, I honestly... It's a tough decision. No. You can just say Minecraft. No, I think it's a... a shadow run for, like, Super Nintendo. Yeah, I remember that game. Yeah. I've always, like... Because I played the pen and paper, and, uh... I saw the newer Shadowrun game that was apparently nothing like it, but I hear good things about the one for uh, Super Nintendo, so I should play that. I was in a Shadowrun mud, actually. Hell yeah. Yeah. You gotta do it. I knew you were cool, Sloby. <laughs> I don't know if this qualifies as old, but uh, Shadow of the Colossus, I never played that. Oh yeah, I would like to play that. Yeah, I never tried yeah. that either. I'd like to check this that out. This must be like the best they game. They released a package deal with um, Shadow of the Colossus and, um, shit, what was the game? Uh, Eco, Ico? Yeah, oh, Ico. Ico, yeah, Ico. The, yeah. Yeah, that one apparently mm-hmm. is amazing too. Yeah, I never played it. I watched someone play it, imagine that. I guess. How'd you do that? That's weird. It's you, uh, can, you can do that? Yeah, that's this weird thing I do. Whoa. Well, that was a good... Who who gave us that question on Twitter? Uh, that was at NerdBotMK2. NerdBotMK2, that was a good question. You can't hear us now, but please, like, thumbs up or converse with us. Well, them. actually, Slobby, if you can't hear us, like, right now... You're talking no. to people right now, Slobby, if it's just in the yeah. future. Oh, my God. It's amazing. Yeah. Um, Push the fave button, I- retweet, whatever you need to do. Can I, can I throw one out there? Okay. Um, at Ben Bliss one two three asks at Red Spray. Other than police knots, any other future LP plans? And I do have one. I really want to do nine nine nine. Um, which is like that anime DS game, mm. which I thought I mean was really well done. And that the guy one who did anime it, DS game. Oh yeah, you were gushing over that game a while back. What's nine 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 about? What is that? So it's these nine people who wake up on a ship. And basically, they find out they've all swallowed bombs, and, um, not Holy purposefully. Holy shit, that's awesome. <laughs> and, like, this guy named Zero basically Written tells them, like, Mike, he's like, you've got nine hours to live, and you have to get through my, like, series of traps. And it's kind of like Professor Layton meets Saw, but good. Like, I know Saw is terrible, don't get me wrong. But, um, it's, like, kind of gruesome, and you kind of, like, get into, like, there's this whole thing with digital roots where, like, only certain groups of people can enter the doors. Like, they have all these wristbands um, that give them a number. And basically, like, the way the bombs are programmed is, like, your digital root has to add up to the same number of people. So you have to figure out, well, how do we split up the groups and who lives and who dies and things like that? And it gets kind of interesting that way. Um, It's a little bullshit because they, like, tell stories about, like, scientific things that are not quite historically accurate and things like that. And the guy who was doing the Let's Play, like, was totally, like, down on it. And the whole time he was like, well, this is totally bullshit. And if you look at this, this is kind of crap. And I feel like it, it's a game with a good story that we maybe... We call that a hurt. hater, Slow Beef. I guess so. Mm-hmm. Well, you know what it is? It's like a game that had a good story that wasn't very well localized. Like, the guy who wrote it was, I don't know, totally stupid. Like, but you're, like bi- you're going to do an LP of it, right? I was thinking of it, yeah. Are you going to, like, point out all those inaccuracies for the lulls? I haven't decided yet. Like, there's, like, an art to, like, that kind of thing where you, like, don't want to, like, reveal all the information. You want to let people in the thread post that so it adds to the discussion. And yeah, yeah like exactly. That. It's really best when people spark about it, yeah. Yeah, so you, you don't want it. Even if you know something's bullshit, you kind of want to let other people discover it and then discuss it, you know? Mm. Just pretend. Be yeah. the puppet master. So like, as an example, the guy who wrote the English version, there's like a big guy in the game, right? And he pushes away the main character. And the way they wrote it was like, he pushed him away as if he were as if it were a mountain swatting away a fly. And you're like, really? That's what you're going with? That's the metaphor? Okay. You know what I mean? Like, the guy's not that fucking big. Like, you know. <laughs> I just feel like if there was like a fucking editor or someone, you so know, it's like, it it's like been... campy, basically. Well, the thing is, it's it's, it's like not Evil that Dead, bad. the DS game. It would have it basically it would have been a lot better if you had a more competent writer. 
And the shitty thing about it is um, Kotaku or Destructoid or one of those websites came out with an article that said competent game writing for once, which is totally unfounded and had nothing to do with anything about that game. So a lot of people hate it because they're like, no, there's such better written video games. You know what I mean? And it's like, it's not the best game, but it's got kind of a cool story behind it. You know, that kind of deal. Well, I look forward to that. Oh, we'll, we'll see. Well, I'm All trying right. to run it on my Mac DS emulator. That's a Let's Play promise. Yeah, you've signed in blood now. <laughs> mm, in podcast blood. <laughs> um, I would like to Let's Play, even though I can't do technological limitations, but uh, Super Mario Galaxy 2. Why can't mm. you do that? Yeah, right. Well, I, I don't have, like, the game bridge shit or whatever you need. So, just make it happen. <laughs> No, that's that's prohibitively expensive. Yeah, no, it, it's Camtasia that shit, and you're done. You, you wouldn't believe it. it's like it's like millions of dollars to fucking record your a fucking console. That's what I've heard. Yeah, man, incredibly expensive, but it's my favorite Wii game. It is, great. and I think I felt like it was kind of underplayed because you know all it was was more of Mario Galaxy, which I think for a lot of people would be like, well, okay, I don't know if I want to show another. 50 bucks for something that I've already played before, but I think it just takes everything that was good about the first Galaxy and just makes it, like, a thousand times better. You know what you could do with that? And Tell me if I'm crazy. And you might even, like, allow camcorder submissions if you had to. Yeah, record it with the... my iPhone, right? Well, That's what I was going to say, yeah. Yeah. No, but, like, really, like, al- like allow people to, like, submit, like, speedrun kind of things of, signif- of like, each, or each level. You know yeah. what I mean? You can tell... Mm-hmm. I mean... Uh, in this day and age, like you, it's pretty easy to film your TV, in like I'm HD. Saying, like, and yeah, it's like, it's easy to do, but I don't think a lot of people have the tech. Okay, like it's easy, it's easy to get, but I don't think people are just are they like so go get it? They'd be like, yeah, I'm gonna get a game bridge and record Galaxy for the internet. Oh no, I mean like you could just like pull a YouTube and film it with your iPhone. Here's the deal. I feel like you like actually running the thread. Yes, you need a distribution amplifier. And a capture card. Sure. Both of which I think for we will run you like four hundred. Four hundred bucks. Jesus. I, I think honestly less than that, but I'm just going by like what I spent on mine. Mm. Three ninety nine. That's really. wild. <laughs> That's no, I mean yet another reason PC game. The reason, but I mean the reason you want to do the distribution, you know, the distribution amplifier. That yeah, I'll it's do. what you use for Prime, right? Yeah, because like you plug the console into that, and then you have. Yeah, you have multiple outputs. So one goes to the TV, so you can play it on the TV, and the other goes to your capture card. I and there's see. no lag. There you go. That's nice. Yeah. And don't you it, need a laptop, too? Um, You do need a computer of some sort, yes. Yeah. Like, I have a computer, but I don't have a laptop. You probably have, to have a long good cable. Working laptop. No, yeah. I mean, computer's fine as long as the cables reach. Yeah. Yeah. But the, the point I'm getting at is for, like, a platform game like that or anything with quick response, the distribution amplifier helps you, like... Again, avoid all the lag and bullshit problems of the capture yeah. card. Yeah, yeah. But I got the Wii in one house and my computer in another house. So. Yeah. I'm, well. Com- yeah. And in my well, third house. Anyway, here. You have two worry houses, David. Are they like? No, that's a. Cool. No. I'm just saying. You own your whole neighborhood. Mm, I own Alabama, actually. Yeah. But it's surprisingly cheap. My okay. original point was just that, like, um, it's a lot to ask people to have that same setup. That's why you yeah, yeah. might accept, like, a camcorder or whatever submission just for, like, these. I oh, can beat, I see. Okay, yeah, I yeah, can yeah. beat Galaxy. This, like, I forget how the levels go. Like, Planet yeah, that's 3 a, That's worlds. the thing with Galaxy is that the, it has such a great difficulty curve. Galaxy 2, rather. Mm. Like, it starts out really easy, and then you can, like, beat the game if you have X amount of stars. But then if you want to get 100%, you have to, like, really want to get 100%. But the cool thing about Wii is that you don't need the HD stuff. You don't need the HD capture card or the HD distribution amplifier. That's you can, true. You can do it all with SD. And, like, I mean, I said 400, but that is, like, very high nowadays. You could mm. probably get the whole setup for, like, 100 tops. Yeah. Or you could buy a Slow Beef signed version for 1,000. Yeah, the autographed Sold. edition. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you have diabetes? I want to see it. I played Super okay. Mario Galaxy, and it was, like, honestly, yeah, definitely one of the funnest games mm-hmm. I've ever played. Galaxy yeah. 2 is, like, just pure joy. It really is. It's really amazing. It's just everything that's great about Mario condensed into, like, really, you know... It's like Mario package. juice. Mm-hmm. Pure Mario juice. Mario Mario juice. juice. Mario juice, yeah, excuse me. That's how you say it. Sorry. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, it's canon. I have a shitload of things planned, Diabetes. 
A lot. A lot. Um, well, will both of you have the VLP police knocks with me at some point. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, that's um, in my contract. Yeah. Can oh, I yeah. wait? Can I can I throw out something I'm considering with police knots? Yeah. And this is totally like cheaping out kind of deal. I was considering doing a wrong play of it, meaning like I use some other guy's long play because I am so fucking burnt out on that game. That it pain, <laughs> it fucking, that's understandable. It pains me to play it. I really. You cannot imagine how many fucking times. Why don't you coach someone else through playing it? That might work. It's not I, a bad idea. Actually, yeah, I'd be down. Or, I mean, you can even have people switch off. Okay, that's cool. This kind of be the okay. oracle. And then you'd randomly shout, "You're ruining my vision." Yeah, you'd be like, "No, you're doing <laughs> I, it wrong." It's Mary. I actually have all the extra stuff recorded from like a while back, but yeah. okay. I think that's that a good idea. Try that out. Retsu Talk providing Let's Play solutions for your everyday needs. <laughs> Fantastic. With my kind of... Because I have this YouTube channel thing now, and it's really fun, actually. Like, I know people hate on YouTube a lot, and it is horrible, but, like, it's mm -hmm. also fun, you know? Uh, well, I think... Well, back in the day, like, YouTube was kind of shunned just because there were clearly better alternatives back then. Yeah, but now so kinda... you like, you used to have a 10-minute time limit. Yeah, um, exactly. You couldn't... There was no HD or anything like that, so people used Google Video, but then no, it's YouTube... Good. That's all gone, so... Yeah. Well, there's um, still an issue. Oh, sorry. But I got, like... I'm doing this Minecraft thing where I'm just, like, focused on a village, and I'm kind of doing it like an RTS. So, like, there's, like, technology upgrades. So there's, like, a wheat farm, but then there'll be, like, a semi-automatic wheat farm where you just kind of push a button, and then there'll be, like, a fully automatic where it's, like, all, like, crazy complicated and basically just taking, like, viewer submissions on what's an update. Um, but I'm also going to... Uh, do a couple other games like I talked about League of Legends I'm definitely going to do that and then I'm actually going to do um, if you guys have heard of Mountain Blade um, I'm going to do yeah you mentioned that. that in the one podcast it's pretty dope um, so I think it's dope. combat sim Mount and Blade or Mountain Blade <laughs> um, does it matter Mount and Blade oh Mountain Blade sounds awesome yeah, Mountain Blade spam spam Blade <laughs> 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 but I can't believe you guys have never played that game, Mountain Blade. I'm not, I'm not a big PC gamer. Man. Matt Gaiman. It's seriously like one of the best games I've ever played. Let me let me throw another Twitter question out here. Has my voice gotten better since we started this podcast? It's a little better. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's good. like Benjamin Buttoning. It's good. Nice. Yeah, so. You only sound twenty years older now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so now I'm only three hundred and twenty. What's the Twitter question? Oh, I was making that up. I was just asking you guys. So. Oh, okay. Let's well, do that's a good, that's a good oh, question. There's some more, uh, I'm sure there's 7,000 Twitter questions. So. Uh, there's a fair amount. Um, how often do you do an RP, then afterwards decide it wasn't a very good video, or a video undeserving of being RP'd? <laughs> Never. I don't think that's ever Everything, everything, everything yeah. is solid Next. Gold. We'll use um, anything. It's... We deleted stuff. Yeah, no, we have. Like, there have been some that we thought were good candidates, but we didn't feel like we were, like, being funny or adding anything to it, and so we were just like, eh, forget it. Fun fact, the first ten minutes of the podcast might be good. The out. first 60. Yeah. Or be made into its own separate podcast. I'm going to make a podcast gag reel. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, this, this minute of podcast. Alcohol and drinks of choice asks... Mm. Um, at Mr. Underscore Rip. I'll, I'll tell you. Or Rippy. Are they buying? What's I'll up? I'll tell you mine. Um, I used to be a huge fan of Sapphire Martini straight up with olive. Very dry. Uh, Jack and Diet Coke for me. Disgusting diabetes. Um, <laughs> probably like, probably like a Jim, just like Jim Beam on the rocks or uh, Sailor and Coke. I've, I've switched to Jameson recently though. Jenna Jameson? Yes, Jenna Jameson. Jenna Jameson okay. whiskey. Yeah. My uh, my fiance is actually uh, an Irish citizen, so oh, I have nice. to drink Jameson. You have to drink Jameson. Oh, so you're like drunk all the time, basically. <laughs> Before that, but still. Mm. Mm. All right, let's see here. Um, let's see what else. I got all excited, and no one's getting us drinks. Damn. Why didn't you? Why didn't you guys ever re oh, from Sendora Elite? Why didn't you guys ever revisit Electrical Beast for the end of his Super Mario 64 LP? Well, I thought his last video was just kind of boring. I think you've heard all the jokes from... Yeah, and like, 
Yeah, we did those first two. How long ago was it? Like three, four years? Electrical Beast himself is the joke. Basically, <laughs> he's a self-parody at this point, right? Basically. Yeah, there's I, nothing more to say about it, basically. Is I, w- it? I wouldn't be adverse to like looking at the last video now, years later, but I think for the most part, like... Billy MC is like the one guy we keep going back to. <laughs> yeah. I mean... He finds new ways to surprise and delight us. Like, genuinely. <laughs> Absolutely. So. Um... I got one from Jake Special K. Favorite horror movies. I love movies. Crickets, just by the way. Just saying that. Uh, I love them. Well, that's, that's a, right. adds the ambiance to favorite horror movies. Favorite horror movies? Um, oh my god, god, I love horror movies. Exorcist, come on. I never saw Exorcist. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, there's a lot of classic movies I have failed to see, or that I haven't seen until fairly Diabetes recently. Diabetes didn't have a TV till he was like 21. I had to build my own. Out of wood. Actually, I uh, put a cardboard box in, and Dave enacted the Exorcist for I me. Did. Yeah. I really think Exorcist is one of the very, very few movies that holds up, especially horror-wise. Yeah, it's just like a solid movie by itself. It's like it's mm. the things that happen in it are just so. It's just Linda wrong. Blair, dude. Yeah, and she totally worked it. Mm. I um I actually saw The Exorcist redone in a theater, and um. Do you know about the spider like a live scene? reproduction? Yes, I'll have reproduction. Holy shit. Um, no, it was um, this one time, like, my brother and I went to see it. Like, they re-released it, and they included an extra scene. Um, I don't know if you ever know about the spider walk extra scene in it. Yeah, no, yeah. I saw the, the remastered edition that came out, too. It Here's the deal. It totally doesn't work because, like, progression-wise, it's just getting more and more possessed. It's, like, too much too early. But if you're not fucking expecting it, it's fucking freaky. It's terrifying, dude. Yes, but here's the problem then. There were these kids in the theater who would not shut the fuck up. And, like, at the one point when the priest is, like, throwing the holy, the body of Christ compels you. These two kids are like, everybody with us in the theater, the body of Christ compels you. And, like, Uh. yeah, it was really (laughs) fucking annoying. So I never saw it. um, My bad, that that was me, Slowby. It was good. (laughs) Damn it, David. Just trying to get it started. I actually yelled at them. It's crazy. Didn't work, though. (laughs) Don't you know who I am? Don't you know who I am? I um, saw the movie Arachnophobia when I was way, way, way too young for it. Yeah, next so does topic. Mean your um, favorite? Mm, I guess so. And favorite is, and it freaked me the fuck out the most. I can't even. Uh, I can't no even good, decide on a favorite, man. Like, there's no good. There's no good modern ones, though. Yeah, there's not. There's honestly not too many good. Yeah. yeah. Like. I will, I really did. I will say, and I'll admit this. I really did like the Blair Witch Project. But yeah, in was, my defense, I thought that was pretty clever for you know just that concept because it was yeah. Me. In my de- in my defense, like I saw it when it came out, and I was like right around the same age group, and it like totally did work. And like found footage movies aren't that great, but like it was the first one, so it kind of worked for me. You know, I know a lot of people hearing this are going to be like, "That movie sucked." Are you kidding? But no, nah, I'm with like, you. Let's beat them up. Yeah, they suck. Yeah, I, I dug it too. Like yeah, totally. Man, like, I'm so into horror movies, like, there's, like, framed horror movie posters in my living room and all this shit, but if I had to narrow it down, kind of, I would say either um, the original Nightmare on Elm Street mm. with, uh, like, Johnny Depp. Um, yeah, that was good. Yeah, and, ugh, so good. Um, or um, the original Evil Dead um, with Bruce Campbell that, that same okay. ring did. Um, both of those are super awesome. I'll, th- I'll throw one out there. I think the original Alien still holds up. Yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, just... that was a great movie. Is that a dog? <laughs> All right, Cujo. Cujo totally worked. Oh, okay. oh, police are arresting a dog. Silent Hill happening out there in New Jersey. <laughs> How about that Silent Hill movie? Never saw it. <laughs> I did. I did. It's pretty bad. Yeah. Like, kind of fu- funny, though. Like, I, I read Supre the movie a little Who bit. Who asked that question? Who asked the horror movie question? Uh, that was at... Jake's Special K. I'm sorry, you have to say it with the at first. For at Jake's Special K. At Jake's Special K. That's a good question. Good Does everyone question. know, like, there's the Red Super Parade Twitter, but, like, all of us have Twitters, too. The, yeah. the, the one guy... David, we, we've saved plugs for the end of this podcast, please. <laughs> Sindor Elite did send it to We're, we're structured, okay? Let me throw this out there. Do you guys like the original Silent Hill games? I never played them. Definitely. I, I yeah, Silent Hill... One and two I loved. Three I didn't like so much. That original kind of like 
PlayStation survival horror where like it, the control scheme was all awkward and that even like the added controls. to the yeah, yeah exactly it made it I like scary well that's on purpose that's what turned me off to Resident Evil more than the scariness of it was just the fact that it was impossible to move the Resident Evil wasn't like scary it was like pop horror jump scares, well, yeah. moody I guess maybe I guess so I just feel like Resident well, Evil well not recent Resident Evil no nah, 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 not at all yeah. but I'm saying like you know Silent Hill like totally did build on that and made it, like, freakier because, like, the, the original sequence when you're walking around looking for your daughter and you find, like, the blood and it, like, you go down the hallway and the camera starts fucking with you and it keeps getting worse and worse and those children start stabbing you was, like, awesome. Yeah, dude, Silent like, Hill is just, like, so fucked up that it's, like, you don't even see it coming. Like, it's too yeah. fucked up to, like, anticipate. That's, like, the great thing about it. Or Did it freak was. you out, Davo? Yeah, dude. In a good way. Oh, my God. That must be really scary. I'll, I'll give you a confession. Silent Hill 2, I actually paused the game for a few seconds and be like, do I still want to play this? Yeah, I know. Like, all was... the time, you had to, like, calm down and be like, all right, like, this <laughs> is a game. <laughs> <laughs> what really freaked me out, and I have, I have a thing about bugs, is, like, um, you remember the patient monsters in Silent Hill 2? They're, yeah. like, these straight jacket monster kind of things that, like, shoot gas at you. Yep. You remember that? So, like, they kind of, like, amble toward you zombie-like, but and you sort of, like, clumsily hit them with this board. But, like, I remember the first one I encountered, like, I knocked it down, and it skittered away from me and, like, hid under a car. Yeah. And like, I don't know why I was so fucking freaked out by that. I remember that, because they, they would skitter... Not only did they skitter away, but, like, way faster than they normally move. Yeah, it was, like, out of fucking nowhere. And you know what was cool? Like, you ever see the, the concept art for it? With the exception of Pyramid Head, all the monsters in Silent Hill 2 are female. Yeah. Based. It's like, like, the patient demons, you can't really see it. But, like, if you look at their concept art, it's like these women in sacks with, like, just, like, high heeled legs sticking out, is yeah. how they originally looked. It was, like, really fucking freaky. Yeah, it did it so well. I, I, I know a lot of people like 3. I didn't really feel great. Yeah, and honestly, like, you know, it got me kind of thinking, like, these scare cam let's plays that we were talking about a couple episodes ago. Um, I want to see someone play fucking, like, Silent Hill. Like, that will scare the shit out of someone for real. Like, fuck this Slender game. But I feel like, like, um, a good horror game like that doesn't make you, like, scream out in terror. It's just like, oh, shit, this is fucked up. And, like, yeah, you gotta just have to... Yeah, it would be cool to watch someone getting progressively uncomfortable. <laughs> right. But I feel like Amnesia does that really well because it, it's such a slow progression into things, you know? And, like, I, I tried to get my fiancé into Amnesia, and she's just like, nothing happens in this game, it's stupid. And I'm like, you're terrible, I'm calling off the wedding. But, um, like, it, it really works when it's, like, slow. Because if you think about Silent Hill 2, especially the first, like, five, ten minutes, nothing really happens. Like, you're running through fog, and that's kind of it. And it builds something up, you know? No? So, I'm scared, actually. I'm actually never t- terrified. Hmm. I thought The Room was done well, the fourth game. The Tommy Wiseau movie, The Room? Yes, that one. Yeah, that was really done so well. So frightening. Are you talking about the Silent Hill 4? I am. I never played that one, but I, I started to watch a couple of videos of it because, as far as I understand, it's like based in your apartment and you can't leave your apartment and like yeah it's kind of about like anxiety and depression <laughs> so like what's it, it the first half of it's great because like you're trapped in your apartment and what the game does is when you're in your apartment you're in first person and as it goes on they actually like move the room geometry closer and closer to make you feel claustrophobic and then like even the, the room's a safe haven for like the first part of the game and then shit starts invading into that part of it Oh, hi, invading room. Exactly. No. <laughs> well, if we have to do time away, so no. Um, yeah, okay. And then the second half of the game becomes an escort quest, and it's, like, awful. But mm. And then they give, like, the villain a gun, and I just feel like, like, once you add guns to horror games, you're fucking done. Someone you know, should do a Silent Hill Let's Play, where they just play the good parts of all the games. <laughs> and just skip everything. Just skip the shitty parts. <laughs> But because there's so many games that, you know, you could stitch it together. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard good things about Downpour. I never played that, though. I never even... Which one is... What system is that even for? 
I don't know. It's like uh, on Xbox <laughs> PlayStation, I think. It's Sorry. like they got like some like Croatian developer to make it or something. I don't know. They're like hello stalker. <laughs> Uh, All right. That was a good. Uh, yeah, these Twitter questions are good. If there's more, oh, there's plenty. Uh, at Sonic Tempest wants to know the origin of the Ridley voice. I don't even know what the Ridley voice is. Davo, you're behind in your Red Supra. Uh, Why well, disappeared from the internet for several years? Yeah. So. Well, no. I hear, what happened was so Slow Beef and I were playing Resident Evil Five co-op right before we started the Metroid Prime Let's Play. Oh wow! I don't even remember this. And uh, so there's this character named Irving in Resident Evil 5, and he talks pretty much like Ridley does. And so Slowbeef and I were laughing about that the whole time while we were killing his uh, monster form and throughout the game. And I don't really remember why. Um, I think it just kind of popped up, and I just started saying, ta- like, projecting that onto Ridley when you first encounter him in Metroid Prime. Well, I'll tell you, I'll tell you another part of it, though. Yeah. Um, we had done, um, Scarboy had done this, like, Super Metroid ROM hack let's play, uh, called Super Metroid Limit. I and, remember that. Yeah, what and we had done, that fool? still around, he helped me program pretty shots. And then he's dead now. And he and died, he took his soul and put it in the yeah, basically. Um, he worked him too hard. So, in the middle of that thread, someone brought up, someone made what's called the Super Metroid Justin Bailey hack, where it was Super Metroid, but Samus was in, like, a... You know, like a banana... What do they call that? Like a banana sling? I call it a boner alert. Yeah, basically, they were like, we gotta dress up Samus like a whore. And right. um, when we let's play it, we, like, kind of voice Samus as, like, I'm gonna get a... A, I'm gonna a get belly a, girl. Yeah, like, I'm gonna get an X-ray bitch in. It was great, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And it totally worked. And for Metroid Prime, we the first video, we kind of start to do that, but it doesn't quite work the same, you know? Yeah. And you pulled out diabetes, like the the Ridley voice, because Ridley appears very early in the game, and you know the the Justin Bailey Samus voice didn't quite work, but the Ridley voice totally stuck. Yeah. And then through the whole like in Let's Play, we did that. And which, then it just kind of kept going through yeah, uh, other things as well. Basically. And that's that. Well, the Ridley voice is the one thing I'm worried about. We do it for me. What does it sound like? It sounds a little like this. It's kind of crazy. Like, you talk like that, and you, like, you know, whatever. And you fool for a little while. Right. So imagine, like, a demon gargoyle talking like that. Yeah, like, I like it, actually. <laughs> if you watch, if you watch, and I, I need to plug whatever, but, like, if you watch our Jurassic Park, let's wrong prey, it worked the best there, because these Diabetes raptors... Diabetes and slow beef, Jurassic Park, wrong prey. Oh, sorry. They were, like, these, like, raptors... These raptors would jump on screen real quick. It was like a first-person shooter game, you know, like with a rail, like a rail shooter. No, yeah. actually, I remember hearing that voice now because because <laughs> ca- that came to mind because you did it for the raptors, right? Yeah, yeah, I remember that now. For they me, were just that's in the, the perfect stance voice. to do it because they're just like JPEGs essentially yeah. that appear and they're in this screaming pose the whole time. That's what <laughs> raptors sound like for sure. The artists yeah. were like so fucking stupid because they drew it like the raptors were really happy and laughing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we like, can open doors. It's like they look like they're trying to help you. When they yeah, hear basically, you're like, hey, don't shoot us with the, ah! <laughs> like, and ah! it's really where it took off. Yeah. Although, actually, in Metroid Prime Corruption, when you're fighting Omega Ridley, he does this really stupid <laughs> like, animation where he's kind of standing back and throwing his arms in the air like he's having a fit. <laughs> it's like, ah, I don't know what I'm doing here! <laughs> Someone like, actually made a YouTube compilation of kind of like the greatest parts of that single video. Yeah, that was yeah. I, so it's like like if you type greatest of Ridley fight or something like that, you'll see YouTube, it. You'll see it. Yeah. The crummy the crummy thing about it is like um, I think I don't know. I, I just it's just me feels with like I don't want it to turn into a catch race thing because it is really funny. Yeah. But if but we keep doing be, it, it's yeah, fairly conservatively. Yeah, basically. So. Yeah. You got yeah. You got to keep it for a special occasion. I, mean, I, I felt bad because we were at PAX. This one kid was like, "Can you guys say something in the Ridley voice?" And I kind of gave him a look like, oh, come the fuck on. Which I like, didn't mean to more see than once. When, my plan to, when I go to PAX is I'm going to pretend to not know who Dave O is, or not <laughs> speak English, and just see what happens. Not speak English. Yeah. See, I, I, hello. My, my mistake was I ran up and gave Proton John the finger. So. <laughs> <laughs> Then as I was walking, he was like, slow beef everyone, so everyone knew, but whatever. Oh, by the way, John said he would uh, be on our podcast after PAX Prime. Good fuck him. Um, mm-hmm. So we can Retsu Prey's panel, like, post-mortem? 
since we can't be there for it. You know what, actually, um, I know this isn't part of our Twitter thing, but another popular YouTuber who I do like is Rao Cow. Oh yeah, he's cool. Rao Cow. Um, and I'm going to grant you his commentary is very... Um, how do I put this in a nice way? Okay, it's like, hey everybody, it's Rao Cow playing your favorite game that your grandmother took a camera with and threw it in a blender, and then the blender outputted lollipops that you ate. You know what I mean? It's like, all like these. Rao Cow. Su- yeah, but like, he's super fast non sequiturs. Yeah. yeah. But he's like the nicest fucking guy. Oh my god, he is. He's nicer what, like, than me. Probably. I, um, I, I ran this Neo Geo contest on the SA forums, and he won the first round. And then he PM'd me, and he's like, hey, listen, I don't know if I deserve to win that. I feel like a lot of my fans came in and voted for me, so you might as well just, like, disqualify me. Like, out of fucking nowhere. And I told him, like, honestly, like, his video was pretty good. I personally had not voted for it, you know. I thought it was, like, second best. And But, like, yeah, like, he was totally, like, cool about, it, like, things like that. And it totally like, makes me like, yeah, you know, I hope the guy gets as much success as he deserves. Not Brett John John so much, but him. Mm-hmm. Um, Psychedelic Eyeball is also an underrated Let's Player. I'm I sorry. love that's Psychedelic you know. Eyeball is the best dude yeah. on the planet. He really is. Didn't he say he'd do a Retsu talk with us or something? I hope so. I feel really bad. I told him I would do a Super Meat Boy video with him. I just haven't been on Skype, so I let him down. I'm sorry. Psych. I did a. Uh, I participated in a Binding of Isaac race. Uh oh. So there's this thread um, where people are racing Super Meat Boy that's separate from Psychedelic's thread. And so people are just, you know, racing random levels in Meat Boy, but it's also branched off into other games. And so the other night, somebody, uh, Voice of Dog, invited me to uh, to race Isaac, and so I got to race with Psychedelic and chat with him a little bit. It was fun. He's a really cool guy. Yeah. Yeah, he's, I miss playing Worms with that guy. I will say, too, um, he made fun of Doug Walker, the Nostalgia Critic. and his video- Much, much better than we did. Yeah, his video was way fucking better. Yeah, it's under our favorites list, so watch that. Yeah, definitely. And uh, watch this Meat Boy thread, everybody listening to this. It's excellent. I've plugged it before, but it is really yeah. excellent. And actually, well, in addition to his run, he's doing uh, Super Meat World videos, and, uh, he's which are on, like user-made levels. He's on YouTube, too. It's Psychedelic Essay. Yes. Yeah, you can find him there. And what's even better in the Meat Boy thread is that uh, Wugga is doing these Iron Man runs. Oh, that's those are sick. He, he just posted one of Cotton Alley, and that kind of blew my mind. I, I was, like, when he almost died on 715, right? Like yeah. the one where the the little mal the maw things that explode into six, yeah. Like yeah, that yeah, really fucking sick videos. Very mm-hmm. cool stuff. So, um, I'm kind of hoping Wugga does Dark Cotton Alley, but I will totally understand if he doesn't. He died 179 times in the Cotton Alley attempt, I think. Yeah, 180 something like that. So yeah. I, re- I really loved. Um, I wanted to contribute actual Meat Boy videos, like the original Flash game, because I really did like that game back when it came out, but. It just doesn't record well. Mm. And it's also not very good. <laughs> <laughs> there's that. Yeah, there's that. Um, so, at Jason Wickman, underrated games, good games that went under the radar. God, I'm the king of that. Um, t- so, I'm going to say Vanquish again. And also, this little known gem called uh, Bioshock. Hmm? No. <laughs> uh, I will say, you know, um, I couldn't get into Bioshock 2. It didn't interest me. Nah. I like how we're not answering this question at all now. Actually, that reminds me of an old game I want to play. I would like to go into System Shock 1 and 2. Never played those either. Those are great. And you know what we should do, the three of us, um, possibly with Diabetes playing, if we can somehow figure it out, is um, Symphony of the Night. Because that's oh, like Super dear. Metroid. But... Oh, yeah, that's a, oh, yeah, I should have answered mm. that for the Classics game. That is my question. favorite yeah. game to watch. I have not played it. <laughs> to watch it. So, no, for real, I, lo- I don't know why, but I love fucking watching that game. Dave has seen every Symphony of the Night Let's Play on YouTube. I actually, like, I hunt them down, dude, on the Something Awful forums. Like, <laughs> when I saw that there's a Castlevania thread, I skipped directly to Symphony of the Night. Mm-hmm. Uh, Slobif, did you play uh, Mad World? Yes, I have Mad World. Would you qualify that as underrated? Um, I liked, but did not love Mad World. I don't know why I didn't finish it. It was just one of those things that, like kind of got my interest but didn't hold it and I couldn't really tell you why. It's, um, I liked it. It was just like a good kind of turn your brain off kind of game. It's really short. It almost like the Let's Play it just because, but the problem is that there's two commentators over what's happening. Yeah. Where you but are like, what's it's up? Greg Proops and John DiMaggio, so... 
I know, I know Greg Proops from Whose Lines It Anyway in Star Wars, so... Mm-hmm. Greg Proops is awesome. Listen to his podcast. He is awesome, actually, yes. Yeah, I, I like he has a podcast. Proops. Do you think he'll guest we on should, our podcast? We should get him on. We could probably get him on. I think that's so, easy. Yeah. yeah, easily. Yeah, Do you think with, at this point we this should point. cut and go to part two? <laughs> Basically. I think we should. Uh, Davo, any underrated games? Planescape Torment. Hmm. Neither of you guys know what that is, probably. No, I do know what I've that heard is. The name, I, but I don't I want know to play that. It's, um, but, um, it's a PC RPG. Imagine that. Devo liking a PG, PC RPG. And it's uh, based on second edition Dungeons and Dragons. Another surprise there. And uh, um, it's extremely well written. It's like the best writing in the game ever. In fact, when um, I was talking earlier about 999 and the whole competent game writing controversy. Someone brought up in this guy Luffy's thread who had started it that like he's like I can't believe someone said like competent game writing when you have a game like Planes Game Torment that doesn't like get recognition, you know, and that's why people are yeah. pissed at that game. It's I mean it's a I don't know uh, the what Torment is based on is this Dungeons and Dragons setting called Planescape, which is like basically like all the different possible universes like kind of come together in one city called Sigil. Um, mm-hmm. So it's really bizarre ass content. So that's probably why a lot of people didn't like it because it's just like some weird metaphysical shit. Well I remember um, Shadow Catboy did like a four year let's play of it. Yeah. And like I, I kind of get annoyed because people go like hey um you know, if this person's taking two years to make their Let's Play, like, we'll get Shadow Catboy, and I'm like, that's not, like, a thing we want to emulate here, you know? Yeah, that's like, a good... Because, honestly, there's so much dialogue in, like, Torment, you know, that's understandable, but, yeah, you don't want to have every Let's Play, but, like, welcome to my ninth year of... <laughs> that's the thing, like, I don't want to diss the guy or whatever, but it's like, holy shit, man, like, you know, sometimes there's time to let go. My you know, just give us the one Minecraft. Run. Give us the one fucking run through of, you know. I don't know. I mean, people liked it. It was apparently a very well done Let's Play. It was kind of too far along, and by the time I wanted to get into it, the images weren't hosted anymore. You should just play it. It's it's one of those games where it's a little bit like reading a really long book. Like, you could go and play it for, like, you know, 45 minutes, like, every, you know, once a week or something, and just well, forever. Correct, like, correct me <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's it's like you 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 play someone named the Nameless One, yeah. and you wake up in a crypt, and there's like a talking skull named Murray that's kind of your companion. The skull's Mort, actually, I believe. Skull's what? The skull's named Mort. Mort. I'm sorry. M O R T. I think. I, I think Murray. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, that's right. And honestly, like if you die in the game, like mm-hmm. you you awaken back on that crypt, or sometimes you don't, depending, you know. But like. If you die, like, you just keep going. So that's why it's cool. It's, like, that's you... The fact that you're immortal is, like, part of the game. Isn't that part of um, Dark Souls as well? Do I understand it? Neither of you. Uh, Wait, what's part of Dark Souls? Dark Souls, like, yeah, the the PS3 game. Yeah, the that's no- an awesome game. Yeah, it's I've heard that, but yeah. the notion is, like, you're dead when you start, and you're kind of, like, undead playing it, and if you die, you kind of... Dark it's Souls like, is Battletoads for current gen. <laughs> it's... It's that. pretty I've hard, heard. yeah, but... No, that's correct. You start as what's called, like, hollow, which means mm-hmm. you're a zombie, and then as you gain uh, humanity, uh, you become more, well, human and less of a zombie. And people talk more about human. it, like, characters in the game are like, oh, you're not fucking rotting anymore, mm-hmm. cool. Oh, nice. <laughs> I just love the way they do the uh, online interaction in both Demon Souls and Dark Souls. Yeah. I think it's just very, very clever it's how they do it. Level. What do they do? Like you're in your own world, but and you can't talk to people directly, but you can leave messages using different templates. So you can say like "treasure ahead" or something like and that. And the messages or watch cost out for in-game something. resources, so you have to like want to do it. That's kind of neat. Well, you can do you can do, leave unlimited amounts of messages. I don't. Th- I if, think that in people, the second game you have to spend something to leave a message. I don't think that's true. I think maybe you may drugs. have to buy something, but once you buy that thing, you have unlimited. Maybe that's it. Amounts yeah, of maybe it. That's what I'm thinking. 
But yeah, I remember I left like a shitload of messages because you get there's a reward system where if people see your message and they you know basically give it like the Facebook like or whatever, you get a small health recovery. Yeah, and then you can invade other players' worlds. You can choose and to try be to kill a them white as a red phantom, phantom or a black phantom, right? White phantom or a red phantom. Okay. Yeah, red's the invading one. Yeah. I haven't played the game in a while, but yeah, it's so really, white really phantom tough is like you can help other people and, and red phantom yeah so you, is you can, can leave down them. like a great way to level up and get humanity is you leave down a white mark and so if it shows up in other players worlds they can step on that white mark and summon you into their world and so you can like say you've killed a boss but you want to kill that boss again and get some souls you can get summoned into that player's world and kill that boss again and get some basically farm some humanity it's like running back that. through in Diablo yeah essentially but, like, I don't understand, like, you have to be online and waiting for the other player to step on your white mark. Yeah. You, well, like, you can, you can leave the white mark player. and then just, like, run around, but you can't leave, like, the immediate area you're in or go too far or else your sign will disappear. Well, does that mean, like, you have to coordinate with someone else who's playing the game and be like, hey, are you approaching this boss? It's all random. It's all random, yeah. It's, I don't think it's possible to... Like, it'll show up in some people's worlds, but not everybody's world. So they'll see and the can, white like, mark and be like, oh, someone can join me. Okay, and they use oh, it, and then you yeah. appear. So it's not a specific person. It's like if anyone. Yeah, exactly. some, some okay. random dude. Yeah. Yeah, the one time I was playing Dark Souls, I was in this, uh, the fiery area, and I got invaded by the same red phantom, like, five or six times in a row, and I killed him every single time, and it felt so good. <laughs> and how the red phantom is, is you can choose to join someone else's world as a red phantom, and they get an alert that says, hey, a red phantom has joined your shit, and then yeah. you're essentially hunting them in their own yeah. world. As a, it's like being red supreme in real life. Yeah. Wow, that's pretty cool. It's yeah. so cool as hell, dude. I'm thinking about buying a PS3 specifically for that game. This is very timely because Dark Souls came out for the PC very recently. It what? On Steam, bro. Holy shit! I know what I'm getting yeah. like as soon as we're done. <laughs> and it, does it have all the same like online capability and stuff? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Dude. It's called the Prepare to Die edition. I'm not sure how that differs from the console um, editions. I've heard it's pretty much the same I hope game, it's but harder. and I hope like <laughs> even yeah, more. It's more uh, there may be a little bit of extra content that's not on the, the console game versions. Like, actually, cuts you, your body. Yeah, yeah. A knife comes out of your computer and just cuts Seriously, you. Seriously, that game like everyone play it. Mm -hmm. Like now, Dark Souls play it. Like you're gonna get frustrated as hell playing that game. Should I see? But I, it's I kind of want to do videos of that, but um. There's a really good let's play of it already. Yeah, so. Geop. Yeah, uh, Geop and his buddy Vicus. Yeah, it's so, it's amazing. Friend of the show, like, Vicus. Well, fuck. I um, is he really? I um, no, um, I really wanted to. I really wanted to like um, because I saw someone in the let's play request thread said like, how about like we do uh, like a blind play of Demon slash Dark Souls, and then Vicus was like, yeah, I'd help out with that, and I was like, oh, I still want to jump on that, and then I could because I didn't have the capture equipment and I was really busy and now Geop's doing it and it's like totally cool and I'm kind of avoiding the thread because I feel like I want to play Dark Souls but it doesn't it's, really it's a heavy investment if you play Dark there's Souls no, it's a long there's game there's no spoiliness so like watching the videos honestly would make it more enjoyable for you because there's not much of a story okay. yeah the story is pretty much irrelevant it's all about the gameplay um Yes. The story is the most overblown anime thing. Like it's it's so ridiculous. You, half the time you're like, "What the fuck is happening?" I don't know. It's some <laughs> kill some shit. Mm -hmm. Well, just, that's why I like um, both Nine 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 and Danganronpa because they're both like kind of self aware insofar as like those weird anime tropes, and they play with them. And I don't want to describe how, but like in both games, like, if you go into it and you're like, well, that's obviously the anime trope, and then they kind of fuck with it or, like, earlier or late on. Like, I really like both of those things because they, like, it's sort of self-aware. You know, like, they kind of know, like, hey, this is the way most anime goes. Oh, hey, you weren't expecting that, were you? You know what I mean? That's always good. Mm -hmm. Danganronpa does better. I think 999 does it well, too, but yeah, definitely. You gotta yeah. do this let's play of 999. I'd, I'd like to. It's just... Um, my only issue is that um, on Mac, the best DS emulator I got is no catch GBA, GBA, which is like a wineskin version. And like, 
they're like, if you want to take a screenshot, it's print screen, which doesn't exist on my MacBook. <laughs> well, dude, it's so easy to install Windows. Easy to do that. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. Well, there's that in the small matter of you getting up married. That's um, that's coming. I don't want to say when. I don't want a bunch of goons showing up at my wedding. But um, <laughs> just two. Just, just two. Just two or three. Um. <laughs> All right. So at Degen Furnace, who is a Tautu or Tauto, he's a SA poster. He posts in the racing threads a lot. Uh, what have been your favorite LPs over the, all the years? All of the years. <sighs> Every to do year. or to watch. Yeah, to do or to watch. Um, I'm assuming to watch. Yeah, I think to watch, probably. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, there's a Jurassic Park Trespasser by Research Indicates. I've heard the new one by... Um, I should look up his name. It's very good. I haven't watched Depressing it. Depressing yeah. Is that, is that it? I think so. The fire poster? Oh, um... Well, Catsworth is doing Jurassic Park the game. I haven't watched that, but I've heard that's, uh, that's good. I think and it's then, a little uh, dude doing a Trespasser. Yeah. Remember, Slowly, if it's all the years. Every year. Uh, well, when I was since four, you were born. my neighbor... <laughs> yeah. I watched my friend play Final Fantasy VII. I, actually, that's honestly, scarily enough, one of the things I was thinking about. I was like, I watched my friend play all the way through Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, I, I did too. <laughs> well, we kind of alternated. I remember playing through it with my friend Final Fantasy VI back in the day, and well, then like, like he, the he, na- <laughs> he named him, he named Locke's character after himself, and I named mine after Edgar. So of course, I wanted to see like Edgar's play things go whatever. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> and it's uh, it's fitting because you're now the king of Let's Play. Sure, yeah. But that's yeah. because I threw the coin flip to the, yeah. my brother at And uh, yeah. so no, could um, you submerge the LP form actually? <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, let's some good Let's Plays. I mean, Vlothor got me into it with "I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream." Oh yeah, really? That, was, that one was super awesome. Yeah. People have requested we wrong pray that game. Um, you know, it's funny because I've watched it, I've watched a long play of it again, and I think it does have more potential than I originally gave it. Um, it's a very, very dark, depressing game. Have you read and Harlan Ellison? Any of I've, stuff? I, I've specifically read the short story, I Have No Math, I'm a Scream yeah. by him, which is... You'll kill like, yourself if you read too much of it. <laughs> dude, if, if, if anyone listening to this, if you want to look up and feel really bad about life... I have no mouth, and I'm a scream. Is such a fucking depressing short story. All of like, yeah, all of Harlan Ellison stuff is pretty gnarly. Um, I love too though. When did you ever hear the interview where he calls out L. Ron Hubbard on Scientology? Hell yeah, dude! Because like he has this interview where he's like, "I was with him when he made it up." Yeah. Like we were a bunch of sci-fi writers in some bar, and he came in. And he's like, and L. Ron Hubbard's like, "If you start a religion, that will get you the most money." And he like just made it up, and he borrowed a bit of young or whatever. And then later on, like, Ellison, like, said to, like, Hubbard, like, what are you doing? Like, this is picking up steam, like, and Hubbard apparently, like, bought into it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a, there's a long historical tradition, if you kind of look it up, of fiction writers starting religions. (laughs) Is there? Yeah, this guy Joseph Smith. Uh (laughs) Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. Was he, was he actually a fiction writer? I didn't know that. He was, (laughs) Now we're getting into religion on Retsy Talk. Yes, let's split it more. Oh, Politics, oh, religion, uh, your mother's fat. Uh, kill yourself. Mm-hmm. But uh, it's a, my, it's a good my favorite Let's Play is, I don't know, all of them, every single one. No, uh, one, oh, one that kind of stands out to me was, uh, I can't remember who did it. It was a lot of people. But uh, there's this Warhammer fantasy thing called Blood Bowl. And there's a video game adaptation, mm-hmm. which is like fantasy football, but with like orcs and elves and shit. Um, and there was like a video uh, thread of that, of like tournament play on the forums of something awful, and that was awesome. Hmm. Whoever did that, you're cool. <laughs> the Dark Kid's always pretty solid for Let's Play. Hmm. I'm not following, I didn't follow Xeno Gears just because it was so fucking long, and he's doing Final Fantasy X now, which. I played back in the day, but I just... I don't know. I don't feel like it. Yeah, it's understandable. I'm Titus in real life, so... We should totally let's play Final Fantasy X too. In dresses. <sighs> Didn't, yeah. um... Kung Fu Jesus do that, or...? Uh, I think it was the yeah. Tipping 40s guys. Oh, those guys, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. We should tip some 40s. I already did tonight. I, I had my nightcap. <laughs> oh, yeah, he fools at work in the morning, huh? I did like um, Egomaniac Siren Let's Plays were really good back in the day. Yeah. Um, that was like a survival horror game. I ended up buying the PlayStation Network version of like Silent Blood Curse, the Americanized one, but like his original Japanese ones are pretty fucking good. So there's mm-hmm. that. There is that. There's that. 